Hey, what's up YouTube? Double Hot Josh coming at you guys today with my number 15 vacuum seal video and we're just going to keep going with the S&B 762 by 39 FMJ. So just as a quick review, uh, the first thing you want to do is take measurements on your box and on the um, well, maybe you should just keep the measurements of the bag in mind after after you've done it once. So anyway, what I mean by measurements of the box, you want to just look at two sides of it. Um, however, you're going to insert it into the bag itself. So we have about one inch by about two and a half inches on this particular box. And then when you look at the um, bag itself, you want to take the first seal into consideration which is going to be about one inch and then the second seal into consideration which is going to be about four inches and so this is the previous box of ammo that I vacuum sealed in the previous video so let's go ahead and put that aside now with those four measurements in mind those add up to about eight and a half inches so that's how much you're going to want to measure out on your roll up here and so let's go ahead and get about eight and a half inches going. All right, that looks about good. All right, cut it out just like that. All right, so you have a bag that's open on you know both ends. And the first thing you wanna do is press this, this uh, seal button right up here. And then you wanna look at the bag and see where it curls down just like that. And let's go ahead and insert it into the machine. Just like that. And it's sealing off one end, of course. All right, just released it. There's the seal. Looks pretty good. All right, so the instructions say to wait about 20 seconds between each use of the machine. So as you can see, it's like 3.02 right now. And so while we're waiting those 20 seconds, the next thing I like to do is get a sticky note ready with today's date. So today is November 10th of 2017. So all I wrote was 11 slash 10 slash 17. So let me go ahead and show that to you guys real quick. Here's my sticky note with today's date on it. And then we're gonna put it on the box of ammo itself. And I like to put it somewhere that doesn't cover up the information. So right along the backside here, uh, this isn't really important stuff back here to be honest the important stuff's on the side here so as you can see 762 by 39 123 grain FMJ and so you just want to make sure your sticky note is nice and flush we're gonna go ahead and insert it into the bag right over here all right just like this And then you want to look at the side that's curled downwards, just like that. And that's the way you're going to insert it into the machine. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure it's nice and centered. Okay. All right. So let's also make sure 20 seconds have passed, which they have. And let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get her done. All right, sucking out a lot of the air right now. All right, just released it. And there you guys have it. Another uh, box of vacuum sealed ammo. All right, everybody, as always, thanks for watching, subscribing, and have a great day.